Hello guys, and welcome back to another part of my analog DIY synthesizer project videos. Um, in this video, what I'm going to be showing you is the wave folder PCB. Just a quick run through of the actual circuit board. And I'm going to be doing a functional test in the second part of the video. So this one is basically, as you can see, it's based on the Kenstone simple wave folder. So basically each wave folder cell is like so. We have the input goes into an inverting op amp stage and it's gain stage that's and probably that's amplified down so there's a smaller resistor uh, smaller resistance and we go into the base of these two um, transistors here now it's interesting because the very first version I, I made used a 2n3904 for the PN, uh, for the NPN and a 23 2n3906 as the PNP transistor and this version uses the BC547 which are higher gain and the BC557 which I think is the PNP which is probably a higher gain as well which is the B just take note of that because there is a difference if you measure say a B version and a C version there is a difference in in um, the HFE and consequently the gain Right, anyway, let's not get too much into the science of that because that's completely not the point of this video. So what we have over here is our bare wave folder PCB, which uh, I obviously I breadboarded the circuit, which you've seen in quite a few videos. Let's have a look and we can see the wave folder core there. As you can see, the transistors T1, T2, the, the, the small, there are two pairs of PMP and MPM respectively. So we could say each, basically we have four wave folder cells here. We have the first one, second, third, fourth output. And we just have our power connections here. And we have a quad op amp that deals with that and the output is buffered out here, which goes, so yeah, which is goes to a final, going to go to a final output. Uh, where I'm thinking of possibly doing maybe a headphone, headphone out line sort of level and a sort of line jack out level. Okay, and this is the populated version of the PCB, as we can see here, and I'm using BC548, and for the PNP I'm using BC558B. So what I did, this is basically the third or, the third or second version I've tried of this, my third attempt my first attempt it wasn't folding very well by the time I get to the fourth stage I sort of used the uh, values that I had in the piece uh, on the breadboard and for some reason they didn't didn't work very well so what I did was basically I built this cell by cell sort of um, adjusting using trimmers to get the sort of optimum amount of folding per cell so the end result is uh, a hell of a lot better than what I had as we can see here that's the Wave folder cells, first pair of transistors, NPN, PNP, second stage, third stage, fourth stage. Not a lot of components on that board, to be honest with you. I've got a couple of um, polystyrene caps. I, I only use these because I needed a very small value. Um, <clears throat> these are in the feedback loops just to, to remove noise because the transistors can become quite noisy. In fact, these transistors are less noisy than using the 2N3906 and the 3904. And everything pretty much circuit wise works out as you can see the ICs are socketed and we have our respective decoupling capacitors <clears throat> for the power rails and yeah to be honest with you there's not a lot more to it than that right so in the second part what I will be showing you is an on-screen uh, through the scope a demo of the uh, wave folding cells what I may try and do is a uh, an individual test of each cell so you can see how it's, it saturates at each maximum stage and then we'll check the final output right catch you in the
Mm-hmm.